Hi there, this is Mr. Farrell, and I'm going to show you how to use the app Timeline by Read, Write, Think. It's a very great app that allows you to create simple timelines. So when you open it up, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your user. You can see I have quite a few. The first time that you open it up, you will need to create a new user. Tap on New User and choose your avatar by tapping left and right. You can also choose an image from your camera roll if you'd rather do that. And once you choose your image, you can then rotate it around by using your pinch. And you'll say OK once you get it the way you'd like it, and then confirm. Once you've created your user, tap on that user, and then tap type in your project title. In this case, I'm going to do a timeline of my life, and I then say start. All right, to create, you simply just tap where you want to put your first date. In this case, it is dates. So I would type my label would be the, the date. So I would say January 1st, 1971. And the short description is what comes up on the timeline. Now, at this point, you can either tap the check button, or if you have an image of this event, you can then choose the image. Of course, I don't have an image on my iPad of when I was born, so I'm going to leave this one imageless. Once the event is created, you can then drag it around, either above the timeline or below the timeline. You can then also move that date left and right. And if you needed to delete any of your events, you would just simply drag it up into the trash can. To continue on, you then continue with the same process. And this is what it looks like when you bring it in with pictures. Now when you're done, if you're wanting to come back and edit this later, you're just going to tap Save in the upper right-hand corner, confirm the title, and say Save. Okay. If you're completely finished and you'd like to export it as a JPEG, you tap on Finish, Save Final, and then Save. It then goes into your photos or your camera roll, and you can access it there to add it to your blog or to send it via email.